the Kutawira, against the Kirikaga, Kuri Adu, or the Arisamanagia now, Akiabu, or the Adi Buke, Agatuka with the Kirika Kuriabu. Uh, my name is Gordon Ogado. I was uh, I was appearing in that matter with my landed friend Mr. Manyara on behalf of the first respondent, that is Honorable Mashua. And the judgment today uh, has addressed several issues that we had raised uh, during the hearing of the matter. And one of the most important issues that I think emerged from this is that the petitioner did not adduce any evidence to challenge the election of Honorable Mashua as a duly elected member of uh, National Assembly for Kiambu constituency. We are happy with the results and uh, in any event, we are very happy that uh, we, we did a good presentation before the Honorable Court and uh, our client's uh, election has been upheld. Okay, in since the declaration had already been made, this is a, a positive affirmation of his uh, election as the member of uh, the National Assembly. And also I think it is uh, in line with the upholding of Article uh, 38 of the Constitution, where the will of the people of Kiambu has actually been upheld to have been conducted in the rightful manner. The constitutional principles have also been upheld in this particular election, in that uh, if you are going to make allegations of uh, offences have been committed either by officers of the commission or any other party, then you must produce cogent evidence to prove the same. I think there is an order that uh, there is, uh, and uh, the rules is that cost follow the event. And the event in this particular case is that we have won. The loser is the one who should always pay the, pay the, the cost. However, the court made very important remarks on the, in relation to that matter. Number one, it said that either we agree as parties on the issue of cost or we'll have the court tax it, uh, the, 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 the DIA to tax the cost. Okay, so those are the, that's the position as it is right now. Well, I think uh, he, yes. he has been executing his duty. He has yes. been executing his duty. But I, let, me, let me just affirm this in, in light of the constitutional mandate that now he has. He, is, he has to continue executing his duty. I only urge him as my client, and uh, hoping that he'll be the next, uh, in the next election, be victorious. I only urge him if he was doing 100%, he has to push it up to 200% now. So that then the people of Kiambu should not have an opportunity of regretting having given him the mandate to serve them. That's my, but that would be my expectation from him. Yes. Yeah. Ku, uh, kushukuru Mungu kwa kunipa ushindi katika hii uh, kesi ambayo tulikuwa naye na ya pili ni kushukuru mawakili ambao wamekuwa kushika na hii kesi kuhusisha na tukafurahi sana. Uh, ya tatu ni uh, watu yangu, komiti yangu ya ambayo tumekuwa naye tukipanga hii maneno ya vile tuta tutakuwa na ushindi na tulete mambo yetu katika kotini ambaye kuonesha kwamba e, election yetu ilikuwa na, ya halali. Kwa hivyo mimi nashukuru sana watu ya Kiambu kwa kuweza kunipatia e, huu e, 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 nafasi ya kuongoza hawa. Kwa hivyo mimi ni kushukuru Mungu na kusema asante sana. Na sasa ni sema hivi. Ule ambaye alikuwa ambaye alikuwa amenipeleka kotini mimi namwambia hivi. Mimi sisi tunataka kufanya kazi ya watu ya Kiambu. Mimi nakualika we ukuje tufanye kazi pamoja. Ndiyo watu ya Kiambu waweze kuendelea. Hii maneno ya kutupeleka kotini na kutukusumbua sisi, hiyo ni mambo ambaye wewe kama kiongozi ambaye alikuwa utupe hiyo nafasi sisi pia tuongoze. Kwa sababu si kusema kwamba wewe peke yako ndio unaweza kuongoza Kiambu. Kuna wengine na wengine pia watu ya Kiambu wa mama wamezaa mashujaa wengine. Kwa hivyo tunasema kwamba we utulie, wacha tukuoneshe vile kazi inafanyangwa. Wewe ulifanya kazi yako miaka kumi. Na watu yako wakasema baada ya miaka kumi, waka watu wa Kiambu wakasema we upumzike. Wacha sisi sasa mimi niongoze Kiambu kwa miaka tano. Ukiona kama sijafanya kazi mzuri miaka tano, we ukuje tuonane. Lakini nakuwa lakini nakwambia wakati huu Uluwache mimi nifanya kazi. Jana tulikuwa tumeita kila mtu ambaye alikuwa nataka basari. Na tumefanya mpango mzuri na watu wa kiambu wamefurai. Na tutaendelea kufanya hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo mimi ni kushukuru tu watu ya kiambu na kuambia muna niona hapa. Mimi nakuje kwa, kwa nyinyi na mkono safi. Na nataka kuambia mitu wafanyia kazi. Kwa hivyo ningeomba wale ambao wote walikuwa pandio ingine. Watu ya jubili. Wakuje kwa sisi Kenya kwanza tufanye kazi tuwaoneshe vile kazi inafanyangwa yes. president wetu president wetu dr william samoe ruto umeona mtu ambaye kutoka tupate independence hakuna mtu anafanyanga kazi kama yeye saa moja kamili ako kazini 
Saa sita ya usiku ndio analala. Anataka kufanyia nchi yetu kazi. Kwa hivyo nangimbera kuambia watu wa Kenya wapatie president muda. Pesa ya eh, pesa ambayo tunalipa kununua unga iko juu lakini inaenda chini. Hiyo serikali ambayo ilikuwa ilikuwa imefanya makosa mingi. Na sasa sisi tumekuja kurekebisha. Kwa hivyo nikaopa, ningeomba watu ya Kiambu na watu ya Kenya kwa jumla watupe muda tuweze kurekebisha hiyo maneno. Na ninajua sababu sisi ni watu wanatunenda kwa kanisa na tunaomba. Mnaona kila kila Jumamosi tuko pale, kila Jumapili tuko pale kanisani tukiomba Mungu. Kwa sababu Mungu akisema ni sisi na tukiwa na nguvu na nguvu ya Mungu hakuna kitu inaweza simamisha sisi kufanya kazi ambaye nyinyi wananchi wa Kenya na watu ya Kiambu umetupatia mandate kwa kuongoza. Kwa hivyo mimi nikushukuru tu na kusema asante sana. Na sasa leo mnajua kwamba Kiambu hapa Kiambu town haitalala. Leo tutakuwa tuna celebrate hii uchaguzi kwa sababu sisi tumekuwa tukisumbuka sana. Mimi nilikuwa naenda kotini ya asubuhi Naenda nasikiza jaji vile anasema na vile mwakili wanasema. Alafu narudi kufanyia wananchi kazi jioni na usiku. Lakini leo tutakuwa hapa tunashangilia. Na kama ulikuwa na kuja Kiambu usikuja Kiambu kwa sababu Kiambu itakuwa sasa imewaka moto. Ile jamu itakuwa hapa. Na celebrate. Kama unakuja unakuja tu kuselebrate. Lakini kama ulikuwa na kuja Kiambu wewe wacha. Sasa hapa ni kushangilia na ku na ku, na ku uh, victory. Na mimi nasema tu asante na Mungu awabariki na Mungu awabariki na atuongoze katika imani yote ambayo tutakuwa tukifanya. Nashukuru sana. Ni Joyce Wangale kutoka Zindigwa. Huyu dia tulichagua nilimfanyia kampeni kufa kupona na nilikuwa nikisikia hiyo kesi nasikia kugojeka. Sasa mimi leo ni tarara sababu mimi muheshimiwa sikukuwa na rara. Kisikia hii mambo ya kesi lakini sasa tume win tunashukuru Mungu. Biga kutoka Kagangi Market. AK Mafia. WK Mafia. Nimeshukuru sana na nimeomba sana kwa hii kesi ambapo tumepigana kufa kupona tuone maendeleo ya bwana Mashiwa. Sisi watu wa shoko kijumura ushindi sio mashiwa ndio sisi wote ambapo tumepigana kwa huyu mzee simba wetu. Vile ningetaka kusema ni kwamba tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu mheshimiwa wetu ametoka mbali na mahali amefika ni Mwenyezi Mungu amempa nguvu aka tukaweza kushinda hii kesi. Kwa yule ambaye alikuwa ningetaka kusema hivi. Si vizuri kujirasimisha kwa watu. Mheshimiwa Mashua alikupea na nafasi mwaka wa 2013 ukawa mbunge, 2017 ukawa mbunge na yeye mwenyewe hakupata na nafasi ya kukupeleka kotini. Aa, kwa zile siku ambazo zimepita tuseme kama miaka uh, miezi sita Mheshimiwa amekuwa na pandashuka kwa sababu badala afanyie watu kazi anaenda kwanza kushughulikia kesi. Na we mwenyewe unajua ya kwamba hii kesi hakuna mahali ilikuwa inaenda. Hata kuna mahali ulikuwa umekaa na watu. Na ukasema unataka tu kumsumbua mheshimiwa Mashua kusudi asipate na nafasi ya kufanyia wananchi wa Kiambu kazi. Na sasa vile ningetaka kukuambia hata kam 2020 2027 juu huyu Mashua atafanya kazi. Ni vizuri ujue ya kwamba tunaendelea na wananchi wa Kiambu vile wako hapa wameamua na wameamini ya kwamba yule ambaye atakaye waongoza kwa miaka tano na ingine tano ni mheshimiwa Mashua Waidaka. Kwa hivyo ebu mpatie na nafasi afanyie watu kazi.